So we use phone to communicate most of the time. Yeah. So we don't have uh, big challenges because we have understood each other. Only my friend came there and helped me to communicate. Hello, thank you and welcome to the show. I am George Amasis Lubuga, a sign language interpreter, and here I have uh, two, deaf, uh, two deaf friends from the deaf community. So allow me to introduce them. So I'll start with him. Describe yourself. Good morning. Okay, my name is Martin. Martin Etenya. I am a deaf person from Eldoret. I am a social worker by professional. Uh, I am still continuing looking for a job. Okay, my name is Jessica. Uh, that is my sign name. I'm from Migori County. But I work in Nairobi currently. I am not a family, I'm not married yet. I studied uh, beauty in Nairobi. Yeah. So these are the deaf people that we have here and I'm here to discuss about the deaf community and the deaf culture. So the, uh, in deaf community you have four types of deaf that is uh, how you can see them but for medically I think uh, that one can be explained further. So for example like here we have uh, Martin, who is a deaf person, but he can talk well. Same, we have there Jessica, who is uh, totally deaf. Uh, it is impossible for her to talk, same to here. So, these are the two types of deaf that we have here. Also, we have uh, other, other type of deaf, who cannot hear and at the same time cannot see. We normally call them deaf blind. Their sign langu language is very different from the normal one we use here. Same, we have a mute person. He's classified as a deaf person. So a mute person or a dumb person in another word is a person who can speak, who cannot speak but can hear. Same way with uh, Martin, who can, who cannot uh, speak but who, ca who can, can speak but cannot hear. So those are the four types of deafness that we have. Uh, a good example, we have, uh, we have Martin here. He will tell us how he became deaf. Welcome. Yeah, okay. Okay, time I finish my primary exam, I was hearing very well. But after my class 8, I became sick and changed and became deaf. So I moved to a high school which is a deaf school, where I began to learn sign language. But for now I am, I am able to speak. I can even re, uh, read the lip, even when you are speaking Kiswahili or English, I can lip read. I can speak well. So Kiswahili both and English. Both languages I can speak very well, but English is the best language I choose. 
So, which high school did you go? I went to Kakamega. School for the boys only. Deaf school. So Kakamega school for the deaf. Okay, right now, so you have understand he's a deaf person and he can speak very well. He can speak English and Kiswahili. Normally, the deaf people, they only understand Kenya Sign Language. Sometimes they can communicate with us and we see that uh, we may even think that it is a wrong format of English. No, it is not a wrong format of English. It is Kenya Sign Language. Kenya Sign langu Language is different from English. Example in a sentence, I am going home. In Kenya Sign Language, it will be home me go now. Another example, I can say, I know him. In Kenya Sign Language, I will start with the subject and with the object and I'll say that him, me, no. So you can see the difference when you see that uh, writing in social, me social media and other places like Facebook. I normally see people scolding them, saying that uh, maybe that, uh, that's a wrong English. No, it's a language by itself, a language just like Kiswahili, just like English. So now we will know about uh, the lady here. So how did you become to be, become deaf? Okay, I became deaf from birth. I have never heard hear, uh, from the time I was born to the time I went to school. When I was young at Migori. No, it's not accident or anything. I just became deaf uh, from birth. So uh, I went. I went to the hospital trying to search medication, but uh, I've never been able to communicate well. So I continued with the school. I was lucky to join Kuja Primary School, same I joined uh, Kuja High School. And I, uh, I continued with the normal life as a deaf and I have accepted the uh, I have accepted uh, that I'm deaf and uh, I try with all the challenges, I try to continue and living the same way. So I moved to high school in, in Nakuru and uh, college, college in Nairobi here for beauty college here. Yeah. And I can even uh, do the braiding and making uh, ladies hair. So I do different, different types of, uh, of beauty therapy. So I work in, uh, I can work in different places. The most biggest pro challenge that I have is communication. And when people see me, they don't believe that I can do that work. In So when people see me, they think that uh, I am hearing. Others started talking, but when I tell them I'm deaf, they have become surprised. Others, they stop working with me. Yeah, people uh, normally look at me and uh, become surpri surprised. But you can work well, braiding and beauty things, you can work well. Yes, I can just work well. The same as a regular person who can hear. I can just work well. So now, what can you tell uh, people out there who want to think maybe deaf person work ni, ni hard? It is just uh, normal. I'm telling the people out there that it's just normal. Uh, the deaf person is not blind. He can just work normally. So it is possible to work well. 
as a deaf person. Okay, now, the only problem is that uh, they, don't have, who have, they don't have voice, but they can communicate well through writing and through lip reading. Yes. So don't confuse and write uh, in uh, Kiswahili. A lot of many many devs they only understand English. Others they have learned uh, Kis nini Kiswahili but very small. The challenges that they have is normally communication. Okay. So after finishing with her, maybe as a social worker, challenges you have. There are a lot, a lot of challenges. Example, I finished college some years ago, but I've tried to look for a job. People think that it is impossible for, for, me to, for him to work as a social worker. But my other hearing friends, they are working, they are fine job. People attitude toward me when I'm looking for job, it is very harsh, but I'm continuing working hard. Myself, I believe that people, deaf people are able to work as hearing. So, I will. Don't avoid the deaf people, they can just work normally. So, I have, a, I have a certificate that shows that I'm skillful and I can work as a social worker. So now I'm going to teach you some basic communication when you meet a deaf person out there, how you will communicate with them. And finally, we will teach you the alphabet in, in Kenya Sign Language. But for the basic communication, I'll start by teaching you practically here. So I'll start with, when you meet a deaf person, you'll start by saying, hello. How are you? I am fine. That is fine. So this is you, how? I've told you that uh, Kenya Sign Language is a different language from English. You see, how are you? It is just you, how? You, how? Okay, I'll start again. Hello. You, how? This is, I'm fine. Uh, what is your name? My name is, he's fingerspelling. I'll just show you how to fingerspell later. Okay. Where is your home? My home is in Eldoret. That is the basic communication. If you are in a, you meet and uh, maybe you want to ask for water. Wa water. This is the sign for water. Sign for water. So you'll ask, help me water. Same example. Come on in the morning and, sorry, you have gone to a hotel. You will ask for, help me tea. This is the sign for tea. How you normally do it, it's tight. This is the sign for T. And this is the sign for salt. This is the sign for for sugar. So, example, uh, you have entered into a hotel. You will ask, I want tea with sugar or without sugar. This is with the sugar or zero sugar without sugar now i'll teach you alphabet alphabet is important in sign language why the time that you have known alphabet it is easy to communicate even to say your name so she will show you alphabet from from letter a to z that is letter A, that is letter B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, 
K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z Maybe she has been first but uh, for you to for you to understand it well I'll go slow So it is A B It is important to learn alphabets. Why? Everything, every communication that you see a deaf do come from the, the alphabet. For example, when I want to say Christ, it is letter C, but the movement have moved it from my passive side to active side. When I want to say the word Amen, it is letter A, I've started with it, but I've moved it on my hand. When I want to say the words like uh, committee, I'll say it from here, this side to this side. So everything is in just alphabet. You don't just move your hand. You move your hand while being sure, while being sure that your handshape can make a correct word with a meaning. So right now, maybe I will go back to my deaf uh, community here. So they will have to explain the challenges that, that, the challenges that, uh, that they have maybe when they go to hospital and other places. Maybe hotel, maybe they search, when they search government services. So let, uh, let me start with, with him. Challenges that you have when you go to government offices. The biggest challenge is that communication. For example, when I go to hospital, it's possible I want to be served, but communication is very difficult. Example, for example, I don't know how to communicate with the hearing person. The time I write in English, The, person, the same person don't understand my English very well because maybe I've written it in Kenya Sign Language. Many government services, the time they come to communicate with devs, they, the facial expression is very bad, so it makes a deaf person to... When you meet a deaf person, you even have to show a smiling face, but... Uh, if you show a, a, a sad face, maybe even the deaf, will, the deaf person will fear to talk with you. The time you want to communicate, just show a smile, even without reason. That one will encourage communication. The challenge is you. Yes, I've had challenges, very many challenges. When I go to hospital, always, the problem in communicating. Maybe I have a private issue, I want to talk with the doctor only. So the doctor uh, becomes surprised, he calls uh, other people to try to understand what um, I want to talk to. So even by calling an interpreter, and maybe my, and may, maybe I have a private issue. And uh, that, that issue will not be private anymore. It will reach every people. So I, I'm encouraging uh, all hospitals at least to have an interpreter and a doctor. It is easier for uh, somebody to be treated uh, for a wrong, uh, to be diagnosed wrongly because of lack of communication. So communication problem is a very big barrier between the deaf community and the hearing people. Can you, en can you encourage uh, doctors to learn sign language? 
Yes. It is important uh, even to the notice board to write there if you have the to make the communication easy if you have the an interpreter there. It's a very big challenge even the nurses themselves the it's very hard to communicate without uh, a sign language interpreter. Many people have avoided and uh, have avoided the deaf community and they don't know that they, they exist. That is the biggest challenge. Uh, I'm happy that the president, the president understands some sign languages and the president's daughter, Charlene Ruto, she has shown, she, she has shown a very encouraging, encouragement to the deaf co community. And I think that example That example will encourage a lot of people to take the deaf community seriously. So she, she has thanked Ch Charlene for taking that uh, bold, bold move and learn sign language. And she's asking other deaf community, uh, other, other people to learn some basic sign language so that the communication will be easier. And for the viewers, uh, Kenya Sign Language is a, I think it, it is the third language in Kenya and it is even communicated everywhere even in parliament somebody is allowed to communicate in Kenya sign language Kiswahili or English so what I'll encourage the viewers these deaf people we have them in our community they are our neighbors they are our friends they are our brothers they are our sisters so let us learn something at least from them let us learn their language so that when we meet them we will speak their language talk their language and walk their language it is very hard for example take this example you go to china then everybody is speaking chinese but you cannot contribute there how will you feel and the fact is that this is not just a normal language these people there are people living with disabilities. So we have to know that they exist in our midst. A good example is the one that they have been speaking about the, about the experience in hospital. Imagine that you are going to hospital. You have a private matter you want to discuss with the doctor. But that doctor don't understand sign language. He or she has, has to call the other people around. For you to communicate, for him to communicate, and to see what you can communicate, what he can get from you, it is very sad. Let it be included even in the doctor's curriculum. In the sixth year, the doctors are in school for six or eight years. Why can't it be included in their curriculum when they come from that uh, college? They can even speak with these people. I've seen the government has made a bold uh, step by writing the the medicine prescription at the using the brails the same way the government should encourage the doctors and all medical all medical workers to at least learn the basic kenya sign language for it to be easily for communication to be to be easy right now let us uh, learn about their experience in relationship let us uh, start with uh, Martin. Uh, in, do you have a sweeter who is uh, hearing or have you, do you think of having one? Okay, about relationship, that's a very big challenge. Because, for example, if I want to marry a girl who is hearing, But the problem is the <laughs> the problem is that uh, in future some girls uh, who are not uh, loyal they can do things believing that uh, he's deaf he cannot hear and he cannot be told. For example, a, a lot of girls who are married they are having relationship outside the marriage. That's why I'm trying to avoid.
if this is a must you marry a deaf person or possible you can marry a hearing person for me i can marry a hearing person because for example if i marry a deaf person it is, and a person come to knock at the door i may i might have a challenge but if i marry a hearing person at the time the time she give birth maybe at night the child the, the child is crying it is a challenge to take care of that child so you think it is uh, important for a deaf person to marry a hearing person for inclusivity yeah but it depends with the it depends with your heart you know love is uh, it's impossible to force so it depends with how you feel about the other person so for you it is possible you can marry a deaf or a hearing person okay so uh, what challenge have you have the time that you are uh, dating a hearing person communication communication has been has become a very big problem so in the past have, uh, have you ever met a person and you see maybe maybe she's beautiful and you want to you want to date her how do you start first uh, when you see a lady but many people are avoiding deaf people they think that the deaf people they have to fight always that is the biggest challenge in love that's the challenge that time time i try to talk to a hearing person and he knows that i'm a deaf they just think that a deaf person is always uh, angry and easy easy to fight but that is not true deaf people Deaf people are learned and uh, they understand just well as the hearing person. Okay, challenges yours in relationship. Okay. Uh, you have a sweetheart now. Deaf or hearing? Yes, a hearing. Uh, do you feel maybe you can maybe you can say the name, or you fear you still you are still hiding? Yeah. Yeah, it is possible for me to say. Okay, you can say. She's uh, still in, at college in KU University. The name is The name is Mercy. Yeah. Uh, Mercy, no sign language. Yes, uh, she knows very small, not deep. But always we communicate through messages and uh, she is very interesting in learning sign language. So that is the advantage that she has. Okay. What about you? Okay, I have a, a hearing uh, sweetheart. Okay, she is my good friend and we are together. Uh, the the problem is that when people see us, they are surprised surprised to see us that uh, we are laughing and we are talking. They don't they do, they don't think that a hearing person and a deaf person can just walk and have fun and even laugh. Yeah. Same, we just take care of each other the same way other people take care in love. The only biggest problem is communication. So we use phone to communicate most of the time. Yeah. So 
we don't have uh, big challenges because we have understood each other and we are in love and we understand we understand each other we are not choosy that choosy so apart from the communication challenges we are just well so possible you say the name of suit at yours or if you uh, <laughs> it is still private yours is still private yes this is still private he cannot say it uh, right now and Communication with Sweetwater viewers, it is just normal. It is easy. Your Sweetwater knows uh, sign language. Yes, small, but we communicate. Maybe we communicate through WhatsApp and, uh, and phone. Other time we communicate through WhatsApp and SMS. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, Apart from the challenges you, you have in a relationship, maybe in normal life, would say, have you ever been arrested? Yes, I've been arrested. So, how did you communicate? Before, communication was very hard. Time I tried to explain to the police that I'm deaf, the police was thinking that I was pretending. <laughs> I stayed in the police for two, for two days. I never knew that the road was closed. The road that I was passing, I never knew that it was closed. So the police was think, thinking that I ignored it. Only my friend came there and helped me to communicate. But public servant, for public servants must learn sign language. For example, the police. When the deaf come seeking for help, the com communication is pro uh, there's communication problem. Even if somebody has stolen from me and I want to report, it is very hard for me to get help from there because of communication problem. So friend, you ask, your friend helped you to get out. And you, have you ever been arrested? No, I've never been arrested, only that I met a police. Uh, that time I was driving, so I met a police and uh, he stopped me. He was surprised seeing that uh, I was driving and I'm um, deaf when I, I was trying to explain to, to him. So it was a big problem, but uh, we have to we solve it. Okay, now viewers, as you have heard, it is very important for public servants to learn the sign language. I. I am urging our able president, if it is possible, even in the police training, they might extend it with one month and let our police learn sign language because these people are out there and they need their services the same way we need our services. They have to interact with the hearing people normally. It is not a must. Every time they go somewhere, they have to tag a, a sign language interpreter. It is very hard. So. Please, kindly, if the government can take their plea and know that, knows that these people, we have 2.7 registered deaf people in Kenya and it is projected that we have more than 7 million people because others are not registered and their statistics is not well known. So assuming that in a country that we have almost 6, 6 million people who are deaf, and these people cannot communicate, cannot have services in our hotels, in our public service offices. What do you think? All, pu all public services, they must learn sign, sign language. It is easy and it is possible. So our MPs, 
even in area in in our home there our mcs our governors please let us sponsor people to go and learn sign language so that those people will come and teach others okay okay now uh, as i said i am a social worker and i'm still searching for the job so it is important if you know that there's a social work position somewhere you can tell me so thank you all viewers so thank you all viewers thank you let we'll meet again okay thank you viewers as you can see we have been having a very good interaction here I am George Amasis Lubuga. I am coming. I am from Eldoret, and I'm a sign language interpreter and a trainer at the same time. So sometimes we we even have those parents who have uh, deaf children, but they have a communication problem. You can you can call me. I come. I teach you some basic communication so that you can have a, an easy time with your family. I'm very flexible. I'm a freelance uh, sign language interpreter. I can move from place to place. Even right now, I'm in Nairobi. So, whenever you want any sign language or to learn or you want to know anything about the deaf and the deaf community, I'm always available. My phone number, you can just get me through 0721-21 again, 0718. In Facebook I am George Amasis Lubuga and also in TikTok you'll find me as it is well or Amasis. So thank you very much. We shall we shall meet another time and feel free to call me anytime anywhere. We learn more about the about about the uh, deaf deafness and uh, deaf disability. but also other disability i can advise you on what to do let us make sure by the year 2030 as our former president used to say mwai kibaki the vision 2030 that we shall we shall never have any person no matter what the situation who is age 4 and he or she has not gone to school all people have to go to school there's something that they can learn them be it a deaf person be it a blind person be it a mentally challenged person be it a physical challenged person all people they must go to school my phone number is 0721210718 goodbye we shall meet again